going south for the winter. How about heading north this summer? Here's your chance to plan an outdoor family adventure. The All Canada Show is this weekend at the Milwaukee County Sports Complex here in Franklin. Here to tell us about it and to give us a taste of the Great White North. Norm, the Great McCrake, promising to fillet a fish using an axe on live television. I don't believe this. Watch no. your fingers. Eh? <laughs> All right. Well, one of the biggest traditions in, in, for Canadians coming up with Americans fishing with us is during the midweek day, we have a, a nice shore lunch, which I got one here prepared for you. And uh, it, it's been something that's been going on almost since uh, right after 1945, after World War II. So it's been a, a, a big tradition for us. What I'm going to demonstrate here is I'm going to do it with an axe, just to prove the point <laughs> that you have to have a sharp knife, you know, okay. to do it. So uh, what I do is I make the same cuts as I would with a knife. We've got here a real nice walleye, and you just cut right into it. Watch your fingers. Yeah, we'll get down there. <laughs> get down around the side. Now, with the knife, as, as well as an axe, when I get into it, I always go around the bones. You never want to, to go through the bones because you're going to dull your knife, or in this particular case, my axe. So when I come down here, I'm going to go right down, slice her around, and here's the bones. I'm going to go right around them just like that. Now, is, this like a, is this a talent you always knew you had, or how do you, how do you figure something out like this out? Well, well <laughs> actually, I, I, had, Canada, I had a friend, Ron Bowie, he showed me how to, how to do it, and uh, that's that's what we would do it. Uh, not obviously on the short lines, but right. you know, just for a little slick. But I'll tell you one thing about the, the fish. Any impurities in it is going to be in the belly meat. So what I do is I like to cut that right off, just like that, and that's where all the impurities are is in there. Now, if you take your finger, I got some lemon there for you. If you feel right there, you got a little bit of bone, and you don't want to have that bone. Yep, little bone right there. In there. So we'll what we do is it. we take a little cut, just like that, and one like that, and that bone is going to be just boneless. This whole fillet. Now, big thing I like to show you is when you're filleting it and taking it right off the skin, you actually pull the skin. The knife doesn't move that much. It's the fillet that you're pulling back. So you just kind of do a little wiggle yep, with little the knife like and that. pull the skin. You betcha. Wow. And there's your fillet right the there. Sink. There you go. That is a good. <laughs> Even though it looks filet. raw, that's what your shore lunch is going to end up looking like. Ooh. Just All right. like that. And how do you like to prepare the fish? Well, I like to use light batter on it. Oh, uh, right I don't uh, like a real heavy batter. You know, I like to take the, taste the fish more than I want to taste the batter. So. And I've heard of people using potato flakes to kind of use yeah. it batter. That's a pretty good one too. Potato right? flakes. There's beer batter. I actually see them take potato chips. And, ah. and roll them and put that on there, and the salt's already on it. Tastes really good too. We guys got a big event going on down at the sports complex this weekend. Uh, tell us what it's all about. Well, we have uh, the largest collection of Canadians that you're going to have in the Milwaukee area, <laughs> and we're all packed up in that building it's trying a to lot help. Of fun. Oh yeah, get you into that mood. <laughs> and uh, but coming up to Canada, we got all sorts of fishing vacation trips for you. We got some hunting trips that we're trying to help you plan, as well as we got our big shore lunch that you can eat down there with a Lavat's beer. We got uh, Tony Padgett down there, who is a renowned uh, wildlife artist. In fact, two-time winner of the Ducks Unlimited Award. Uh, he's got all his paintings out there. And the best thing I like about the show is you can sit down and get a hold of a map and, and you know start where are we going and here and there. You know, a lot of fun just talking about the fishing and, and hunting we have in Canada. And I always uh, give everybody the advice: the first liar doesn't have a chance. So make sure you get your story <laughs> in last. You know. And now you guys are telling people to come up to Canada in the summer because last summer we had crazy warm temperatures. Very hot, yeah. A little bit cooler up there. Of course, we're blaming you for our cold spell <laughs> yeah. today. But well, thank you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's true. It, we get some pretty hot summers too. But uh, you know, last year we had some low water, and with the low water, it made the fishing even better because the fish were more oh, concentrated. Right. Yeah. So we had a great fishing year last year, and we really encourage people to come on up. It's very affordable and obviously a lot of fun. All right, we're going to leave it there. Norm the Great McCrate, always great to have you with <laughs> us here on Daybreak. So here's what you need to know The All Canada Show is this weekend at the Milwaukee County Sports Complex in Franklin. The hours are 10 to 6 today and 10 to 4 tomorrow. If you'd like more information, head to the website tmj4.com. We'll